This is the Chinese cooking channel called Chinese Cooking Channel. Today we're making shrimp fried rice with onions. Why do I use onions? Because I bought a 50 pound bag of onions on sale for $7.98. So I'm just working through recipes using onions. And for this recipe we're going to use uh, day o rice and also two day o rice and also some of this is three days old. So it's good to use uh, old rice to make uh, fried rice. So let's get started. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. I got the wok preheated at uh, medium heat, so I'm going to put about 3 or 4 tablespoons of cooking oil in there. So I got some onions I'm going to put in first. This is an aromatic. So aromatic is, a, is something when you put it in the oil, it brings up more flavor. We'll just uh, stir fry the onions. Now I'm just going to put the uh, shrimp. So this is a very quick recipe. So the shrimp cooks pretty fast. I'm just going to take off the shrimp with the onion. And the onions I like uh, on the raw side. So I don't need to overcook the onion. Some people like to have the onions more well done. You can do that. So put a little more oil in there. So here goes down one bag of rice. So here comes another day, day's rice. So you might ask, uh, why do you have uh, so many different days of old rice? That's because sometimes I want to have fresh rice every day. So I just keep the, the uh, old rice for fried rice. So I got the heat on the uh, High right now, move up the high. You want to get some good sear for the rice as well. So sometimes old rice uh, doesn't have a lot of moisture. So some people like to add water. I, I personally don't like to add water. So what I do instead is I put uh, maybe a cup of peas in there. So peas have moisture and you can put them in frozen if you like. And old rice usually has like, lumps in it so you try to press out some of the lumps before you put in the wok. So if they still have lumps you can use your, your ladle and your spatula to flatten it down. I use uh, peanut oil, so uh, what I do to shine up the rice, I usually put more oil in there. So as the rice is cooking, just put on the edge. I put some extra oil in there. A lot of restaurants put a lot of oil, but uh, I just line the edge with more oil. So the rice is growing pretty good now, so I'm going to put some... Uh, salt in it. So this is uh, natural uh, sea salt. So I'm going to put about uh, maybe a half to three quarter teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to put some uh, light soy sauce. So for this amount of rice, it's like uh, maybe two or three orders here. I put about three tablespoons of light soy sauce. So 
So some people like to put the dark soy sauce. In the old days, they always put the dark soy sauce, which is a more of a sweeter so uh, soy sauce. So it really colors the, the rice, a darker brown color. Uh, I myself, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So I just use the, uh, the light soy sauce most times now. So now I'm going to put back the, uh, the, the shrimp, the prawn. So I'm just going to put a little bit of sesame oil in the uh, prawns and onions. We'll put that back into the rice. So you use the uh, ladle to push down and then you turn it over and use the uh, spatula to sort of cradle the uh, ladle. There you have it, shrimp fry rice with three days of old rice. Enjoy. The recipes you get now is the, what I call stay at home recipes. This is what I have in my fridge. And if you have any suggestions, uh, let me know. Uh, put it in the comments in the section below. And be sure to give me a, a like and uh, be sure to subscribe. And uh, make sure you uh, click the bell so I can uh, keep giving you more videos.